My name is Paul Herberts, and I just want to give a quick tech tip on uh, the Series 900 belt. In this case, it's a flush grid belt with rubber top. And believe it or not, this is uh, a Dynacon drive module. I know to people who have purchased the Dynacon before, you're not used to the black. This is kind of a hybrid, actually. But, but for all practical purposes, this is a Dynacon drive module. And what I want to show today is the proper way to engage the Series 900 belt with the uh, 12 tooth sprocket. It's really, really simple, but if you make a mistake, you, you can cause some major loading problems and, and you can overload the motor. It's as simple as uh, centering each sprocket between the E-clips, and the E-clips are just these black little clips. The only reason they're really used is for shipping so that all the sprockets don't move during shipping. They don't help the conveyor function at all. They merely uh, keep the position or relative position of the sprocket. Before, when you get your belt right to here, right before you try to engage it in the sprockets, you're going to want to center every sprocket between two E-clips. I'm just going to do that real quick. It doesn't have to be exact, but you just kind of want to center best you can. I know this might seem uh, that you take it for granted, but if you don't, you can either have clicking uh, in your, your drive, or you can actually overload the motor. So right now I have every sprocket between either side of the E-clip. Now I'm just going to work from one side, and I picked a big wide conveyor on purpose, uh, but we're going to engage the belt. We're just going to slide it up slow. Everyone wants to do things fast. This is, you don't want to go fast right now. And so then I'm just going to try to wiggle this first one in, and I, I'm a little off to the side here, but I'm not hitting the E-clip. In fact, I'm going to move back one. And I, I'm about in the same position because it has to pick this slot or that slot, but, but I'd still say I'm okay on that. This one is too close, so I'm going to lift up the belt a little bit and move it back. I'm not hitting either, either E-clip. This one's in good. This one, we're going to have to work on these together. So I'm looking at either one of these. I'm, I'm in between these E-clips, in between these. This one's humped up right now a little bit. I have to find a position where it will properly seat. A little closer on this side, a little closer on this side, I don't like it, so I'm going to do it over. I like that better. These, these are really close uh, because they, they can only go in, in a certain position, but I'm still okay. I'm not riding the E-clip hard. Got a couple more down here. In, in, in. So perfect, perfect. I look at every one of these. We're not hitting any of the Eclipse at all. We're close on a few of them. This one jumped out a little bit. I have to find the position. And I'd say that that's good. Right now I would turn the belt just a little bit, put the motor to the slowest setting possible, then turn it on and just slowly watch it engage. This looks good and your conveyor will run smooth and not draw excess load. I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, if it does, great. If you already knew how to do it, even better. Thank you.